So let's recap. I am dwarves. I'm living on a grid. There is a friggin' Balrog in the middle of my empire. And on top of that, the cutest friggin' purifiers in the universe have just spawned to myself in a gigantic blob. Solaris is great, but today we're going to be playing with a jank little objective. Somewhere in the galaxy are several fanatic purifiers, and they'll just go around and kill whatever they can find. I am playing as a jeffed up bunch of miners who have only one task and one task only. Get a Colossus and bubble the homeworlds of these galactic menaces. Let's begin, shall we? But before we continue, I'm a big fan of supporting smaller game studios, which is why I am delighted to tell you that this video has been made possible by Prosperous Universe. Prosperous Universe is a persistent economy simulation game that puts you in the seat as the CEO of your own interstellar trading company. The entire economy is player driven, which means that carving out your place within the galactic production chain is the real challenge. You want to be a simple space trucker looking for margins and upgrading your truck? Yeah, you can do that. Or do you want to go into the game as a stock market simulator? Yeah, that's also possible. Maybe you want to be the raw resource mogul of your sector, or you want to design and construct spaceships to power the interstellar economy. Just remember that every single item in the game has to be produced by someone. So if you find out that you're one of the few that are making a certain good, then it may be worthwhile to build an entire vertical production chain versus buying components on the market. But that's of course your call to make. Prosperous Universe is a serious business game that has a completely modular interface that you can personalize based on your needs as you play the game. Support a small studio and use the link in the description below to check out Prosperous Universe today and corner your stretch of the galactic market. We begin the game humble enough. Here is the Undercroft, which is our capital world. We are, of course, subsurface dweller with our uh, leader who is just hanging out. And as you can see, we have a little bit of an amenity issue, but that should not uh, cause too many problems in the long run, because that's, of course, where the sprawling slums comes in. No, I'm not too concerned here. We're going to be able to turn our worlds into fortresses, so those fanatic purifiers cannot kick down the door. We'll have a lot of fun here. So... Uh, why do I keep doing this to myself? Okay, so we got ourselves a grid. This is going to complicate things a little bit because it means we have choke nodes in every single direction. Which is problematic considering this uh, map has, I believe, 50 empires spawned on it. Five fallen empires and a bunch of marauders. Plus those uh, previously mentioned fanatic purifiers who are just going to feast in every single direction. And these are fanatic, uh, fanatic purifiers that were inspired by some of my previous videos. So uh, expect a couple of uh, known entities to be floating around. We're going to need to survey as soon as we can and we're going to need to try to figure out what is going on by just scouting around. And you may not know this, but if you have a leader on your... Uh, on your basic fleet, you can just scout around without too much problem, which is you can just move them into spaces that you don't actually have surveyed. And considering the amount of other empires there are on this map, we should probably try to figure out where all the other planets are as soon as possible. This Arctic world is the first step. We are an Arctic species because uh, being underground means that we have a mineral focus. We are very heavy minerally focused here. Um, which basically means that we wanted to have Arctic worlds to begin with. But let's hope that we can explore some more before anything crazy happens. Bad news! Um, we don't have any good planets nearby. We've got one Arctic world who is currently a 50% habitability and a bunch of other planets, which are ocean and savannah. We'll be able to get a bunch of bonuses, but the real problem is it's more... We need to be really careful with how we build up our empire. If we can get to the edge, that'd be nice, because then we just don't have to worry about an entire angle, i.e. on the left side of the map, which we should just try to avoid. On the other hand, yeah, we just need to be worried about what is around us. We're fairly central, and if a purifier is nearby, they will wreck us real quick. Because we are the joy of underground dwellers sometimes we get unexpected mineral seams and they may not seem like very important but they are we should probably probe deeper on this planet because um 
Korgos, which is a planet we've just claimed, uh, mm -hmm. is, is, is special to us. And we definitely need to make sure that we uh, delve as deep on this place as possible. Because what could happen? You know what? I'm actually going to turn this... Uh, I'm going to change the name of this planet because of this magnificent, magnificent uh, discovery. What's the worst that can happen? I'm going to call it Khazad... Khazad Doom. What's the worst that could happen, right? Yeah, this is what happens. The price of greed as we find something down here. Apparently, a lot of old rich caverns being found on this planet. Incoming also, nothing forces. but depth as uh, there is the crystal bane down there that has 15,000 health and is currently in the process of completely annihilating our planet. There's literally nothing we can do. They've literally captured the planet just now. And uh, yeah, the Crystal Bane is reducing all resources income. Upkeep is just a mess and nobody wants to live here anymore. We literally uncovered a friggin' Balrog. So not only are there a bunch of fanatic purifiers out there ready to jump down my throat, we also have a Balrog to deal with and now the neighbors have decided to claim one of my systems. I guess... It, it could be worse. At least I've got Fortify the Border enabled. So we can easily take out this thing, uh, the Democratic Hifnarian clans. Why? Well, we just need to make sure that these raiders have a good raiding target, i.e. them. We just need to cough up 3,000 energy credits and then we'll be fine. If that happens, they'll just send out a fleet which will absolutely... Um, decimate, which I know is not the correct terminology here, but they will annihilate whatever there is in their capital or whatever systems there are nearby, including their fleet power. Now, the real problem here is, is that we have nothing but choke nodes all over the place, and I can place stations in quite a lot of places because I've got high starbase capacity to, to um, defend the border and all that stuff, but there are other ways to do this as well. Did you know that on any station that is not even an outpost or anything like that, we can even build defense platforms on these so in a pinch we can turn our entire space into a cubic fortress of sorts uh literally space colorado in that sense yeah we just need to cough up th 3k energy now okay we got enough money and the democratic hifnarian clans could be in a little bit of a pickle here they are rivaled with us which is uh, very important for uh, this particular thing and let's uh, go and pay them some money uh, they shall taste her fury they say uh, the local marauder squad who will now cross the border with a found. fleet that is significantly larger than well our enemies have and uh, after that we'll just scoop up the differences complete. I would say is this uh, a mean way of dealing with things absolutely is it hilarious also yes great crystal groves <laughs> Great success. These guys are now pathetic to us because obviously um, the Marauders are uh, taking a good old bite out of them. But it also means that uh, we should be ready with our fleet soon to invade them. Um, we need to have as uh, much resources as possible if we want to take on these fanatic purifiers no matter where they are. And uh, Bubble Bubble is uh, doing quite well here. Um, taking this empire under our uh, grasp would be nice. In addition, they tried to claim Overcroft, my uh, capital, which is not very cash money of them. And they will be punished. Why is the system called number six? All right, it's time to go to war. And we, these guys have decided to uh, want to claim Engaging some of our systems, as mentioned, which is fine. It just means that we need to push for their stuff very, very quickly at this stage. A lot of missiles on our stuff so we can crack their systems wide open. But the real challenge here is just taking care of their fleets whilst they are not sitting right on top of their stations. Only 815 on this one. That is a very marginal amount, and we're just going to go ahead and engage the enemy if we Fleet can. There underway. we go. Thank you for flying into my stuff. That is quite a surprise. Thank you very much. And we'll just jump into the next system and go straight after this station because 815 firepower is nothing. Absolutely nothing. A quick war, quick war. Very easy, not too difficult. Problem though, um, we're starting to overstretch our boundaries a little bit. 
And we want to be super careful about that because we don't want to have too many choke notes for our enemies to kick the door in. Which is where these raiders come in. They are super powerful. And these guys are our rivals. And we're going to go and hang a hat and vote them in as our rival. And we know we have a good raiding target, even though they're currently a little bit busy. That's fine. In a little bit, we're just going to go ahead and send um, our raiders in to take care of that. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, set up a good old spy network here. And then as soon as the time comes, we will just kick in the door once again and use our raiders to soften them up a little bit. Because uh, we've got some good business deals going on. In the meantime, though, other empires, we want to vassalize them. We want to turn uh, several buffer states around us, preferably as uh, bulwark vassals. Because then we can essentially build a giant wall around us against these fanatic purifiers, wherever they are. That was going to happen sooner or later. Okay, we're in a secondary war. Ooh, they got a few more firepower than we do. Which is unfortunate. Uh, we just need to go and reinforce our fleet a little bit. Maybe upgrade or add some more firepower into the mix. Humiliation will be what we need to do. And maybe we can use it. Yes! Yes! That's great for this war. Please, please, I will Science pay Division you so success. much money to screw these guys over whilst we're at war with them. That sounds delicious. Oh, that feels so good. So they managed to uh, attack my capital, which is annoying, especially if they manage to flip the system, because it means your entire trade network needs to be completely overhauled, because all the connections are completely... Uh, messed up, which is, again, unfortunate. Nothing you can really do about it in the short run. But still, uh, useful to have. Are they, these guys occupying my planet? That is something that is not cool. But we have managed to push them back, which was the goal anyway. And we're going to go and make sure that uh, we're going to heal all of our... Uh, all of our ships and then push them back because they still have the problem of a raiding fleet being in their empire and my fleet is bigger than theirs i am pretty sure which means that they are going to have the problem of trying to push me back so uh good luck Tracking to you guys there fleet. they are it's, it's only that's it 1100 fleet power like i can take that that shouldn't be an issue yeah as i said like they they're just Attacking fleets they really should not Council be attacking and now They're gonna get pushed back all the way, which is fine Like we're just gonna go and take the territory, but this is just a good example of why having these spread out empire is just Super Engaging problematic because there's just so much territory to cover and so many choke notes like it would only take these guys Oh purity or great uh, to attack me as well Thankfully, they're on the other side. They're too busy with these uh, Fanatic Purifiers. There's some more Fanatic Purifiers over here, as expected. And some more over here as well. So, uh, yeah, I need to start making buffer zones. And start stop messing around with my neighbors. Still gonna do them, though, but whatever. Okay, we've humiliated this Empire. That's great. That means they don't want to attack us for a while. But, of course, this other Empire has also, of course, immediately jumped to the opportunity to attack. What on earth is going on here with the state of Belgas? Influence, pop happiness. We get a bunch of influence for that. That's great. They've been taken down a notch because of the raiding targeting, which is also awesome. But now I've got another war. Uh, this is for... The Ukrainian... Is it the Order of Reach? It is the Order of Reach. Okay. Okay, I can I can deal with that. That's good. Okay, we are 11 points from our war goal. Now, we do have a problem, though. Uh, these guys are our friends. These guys are definitely not our friends. And then there's the people to the south, which are also not uh, not our friends at all, Fleet action which underway. we need to be super careful about. And we can send our raiders out at the moment, which is also not great. The raiders have withdrawn from Balka. Oh, those are my guys from earlier. Uh, Does this mean that I can set another target? No, not yet. We'll, we'll, we'll get them going. Lines. I'm going to be their sugar daddy to uh, make sure that they can get all Space the money in the galaxy. That is the tree. 
Skywatch has that sighted is a going spaceborne to life form. Give us some crazy resources if we manage to pull that one off. Even though it's in a system that has people in it. Strange. The Empire from earlier is on the cusp of trying to do something cheeky with us. They're preparing to declare war. They got three and a half thousand fleet power, etc. And uh, they even have a colony ship on standby, trying to do something with that, I'm not entirely sure. But uh, yeah, this could be problematic. They got a couple of destroyers as well. I think we should just, uh, you know, turn them into a good raiding target yet again. <laughs> I, I really wonder how long. This is 3k? Oh, I, I so want to see this. Oh, here's the declaration of war. Here, let's humiliate them. Come on, engage them. Oh, just go somewhere, please. Rate them. Oh, I want to see them rate them. Oh, there they come. So close. Construction complete. So close. Come on. Pop the border. They're literally raiding their capital. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You're in the system. You're in the system. Engage them. You got 3,000 fleet power, and they are literally bombing your capital. You're right there. Do something about it. Like, you're going to go to number 9. It's 2. I can actually do this. I can probably intercept that. That's a lot of fleet power. Because, why is it so much fleet power? Because I went unyielding. And unyielding uh, increases the output of uh, anything in terms of stations by quite some margin. And on top of that, there are stations everywhere. This is probably the most annoying piece of space they would ever have to need to take. Because it's just speed bumps everywhere. I love everything about this. Looks like the galactic community is here, and uh, it's spamming my entire screen full, as is tradition. This does mean that we can see most of the galaxy, though. Look at that. There is 50 nation-states on this godforsaken grid. Uh, in addition, this empire uh, that's attacking me has had a little bit of a problem because we have gone, as mentioned, uh, unyielding. Every single one of my stations is uh, very powerful, which means that they will break their teeth on set stations every single time. I just need to make them take one or two systems, and then my, other, my own fleet comes in just to scoop them up. It doesn't matter if I'm weaker than them on paper, the stations will just absolutely put them in their place Inbound as they should do. Traffic. And then I can just come in and uh, yeah, just uh, wrap this problem back up because, let's be Inbound honest here, 2.3k, sure, it's starting Science to be a little Division bit impressive, a new breakthrough. but it's not going to stop me Counter at all. Efforts needed. Oh, but then there is a revolt. <laughs> I want to do a little bit of testing with the Crystal Bane. I've never had it before. I, I know that sounds weird for somebody who has been playing the game for such a long time. But uh, I've never had the Crystal Bane. And I want to see whether or not it actually regenerates health. Uh, so I'm just going to throw a 27 stack army against it. It won't win. I know, I know that much. But will it regenerate HP is my bigger question. Because if it doesn't... It means I can just slowly throw Ground armies at it over target. time. Like, it is losing HP quite rapidly. Like, in a reasonable way. But will it will it regen that? So we're going to go and uh, Science take a look at it. Success. So it's going to finish this battle with around 14,000 HP. 13,000... Contact lost okay. with all sorts of. Oh my animals. god, it regenerates! It regenerates. I actually need to get a 15k army to take this stupid thing down. Who in their right mind designed this thing? There's the Keepers of the Grid. Uh, Purification Committee, of course. Where are they? The Keepers of the Grid. They are pretty far away, and they've got. Almost no territory, which is something. But, uh, yeah, I wonder how that's going to pan out. Like, I think the idea of having to take down the purifiers is going to be problematic. I actually wouldn't be surprised if we're going to get into a situation where there's going to be a crisis coming in from somewhere that we're going to need to take down a notch. It, it would appear that my vassal is invading my enemy to the north and has not invited me to this party probably because these guys are stuck within their territory because they cannot move their fleet over 
What a fascinating little situation that we got over here. And they have managed to completely thin them out. Sure, they've still got the capital world over here, but territory-wise, they've lost a pretty beefy amount. And these guys are a bulwark. At least, I, I they should be a bulwark. Are they a bulwark? Let's take a look at that. Oh, they're a tributary. What if I turn them into a bulwark? Would they be cool with that? I would need to give them resources, wouldn't they? Uh, that is a lot. Mm, I'll keep you as a bulwark for now. Oh, look, it's the Gurman Sildarian host. You may have remembered that one from our last video. Uh, yeah, they've joined the pack as well. Uh, where are you guys? You're, you're super far away. Oh, they got only one system. They're like right next door. I'm going to go last very long. Spaceport report. I don't know how it happened or when it happened, but um, the Empire to the south of me has somehow swapped into Fanatic Purifiers, which is absolutely bizarre to me. They've all of a sudden become a purification committee, which is, does not happen. So let's recap. I am dwarves. I'm living on a grid. There is a friggin' Balrog in the middle of my empire. And on top of that, the cutest friggin' purifiers in the universe have just spawned in myself in a gigantic blob. Jesus Christ. Bit of time has passed, of course. Um, we've gone down the genetic engineering path and we need to go Colossus Project next, but I don't have Titans yet, even though it's 2320. Um... The Colossus Project is going to take 10 years to do because we need to bubble these capitals. We got these absorbers and we got these purifiers over here. They need to get bubbled. That that was the whole game plan. But in the meantime, though, we got these guys. It's just a tiny ass empire that has a bulwark over here that needs to be crushed as well, which needs to be done. Plus, um, we've got ourselves, I think it's like 8k army strength right now to take this uh, 15k uh, crystal dragon down that's down in the basement and the whole reason why I went genetic engineering is so I can get myself some space marines some genetically enhanced space marines otherwise it's just not going to happen because my army is you know, simply not going to be powerful enough um, I could try to give it a go because it's not as strong as it would appear because it's only one army in the end and it can only attack one unit but the unit that it does attack is basically dead on sight so that's a problem but we could give it a try but first i think we need to uh yeah we need to go to war with these guys when can i do that in three years time so i will take this empire next I just found out there's L gates report success. in this galaxy, and of course I immediately made a claim because I need that system, but it means that somewhere out here, outside of the grid, there's different stars, and I would love for the Great Tempests to kick in the door. Uh, <laughs> that would be super amusing. I knew it. I knew it was going to happen. I didn't do anything about it because, of course, I am an idiot. The Khan has woken up. In the middle of my empire. <sighs> I, at least my fleets are right around the corner. Um, I could ask for a status quo in this war. Not that it would matter all that much. I'm just going to leave the clock ticking. But I need to deal with this issue right now. I should have more fleet power than them. The Chosen of the Great Khan has got 52,000. I got 60 in total. Uh, plus Science there is some other stuff success. floating around as well. But I cannot afford for them to take any of my stuff. So, time to get the throne, I guess. And, of course, they are spreading like locusts because of the nature of the grid. They can go in any direction, which is every direction. Um, they are expanding into my vassals quite rapidly, as well as my own territory, which is just not acceptable Science at all. Division reports a new um, breakthrough. There's the Chosen of the Great Khan over there. I have 50k, but I cannot fight them directly, which is bad. Spaceport uh, reports enemy contact. I definitely need more firepower Spaceport in order to pull enemy this off. Action. And there's the Chosen of the Khan. We're just dumping our ship fleet in right around the corner. We need to be super careful here that they uh, fleet don't do anything. Underway. Oh, God damn it, they just rushed in. Okay, that's not good. 
So at least they can't have defense from the station, but they are regenning, and it's 39,000 fleet power. We've got a bit more than that, and we should be able to do something here. Let me quickly double check my policies, because we are being attacked in our own territory, which means that we should have yeah, unrestricted warfare, rapid deployment, hit and run, defense in depth. Yeah, let's do. Uh, defense in depth because it will give us a bit more firepower the thing is is that i don't know whether or not we'll be able to do anything about them here like the titans the battleships even are just oh okay and that was the con disengaged i guess oh and they ruined my orbital ring because of course they did the jackholes so we really need to keep on pouncing on the the great con like they need to die underway as soon as possible. They'll they'll die once and they'll die again. As long as we can keep his uh, fleet. There he is, okay. Still again, disengaged. It's fine. We station need to make sure that we enemy contact. keep killing him as Mining fast as we can. To enemy He's action. also being pushed back quite heavily, which is also nice. But uh, we just need to make sure that we uh, keep our territory under control Spaceport lost to enemy action. as much as we can. Otherwise, we're gonna run into like territorial issues. Khan meets his first defeat. It's really important that this happens. He'll respawn, and then we'll just have to kill him again. But he'll respawn back in his capital. And this gives us a little bit of time to... Um, to essentially uh, heal up our fleets and uh, rebuild as much as possible. Because he'll come back. And once that happens, then we really need to shut him down. So, we'll, we'll see. But in the meantime, it looks like everybody else is just uh, jumping on them like... Uh, a pack of rabbit dogs. Alright, Khan, it's you and me. Um, you were supposed to die a long way. time ago. Right, here we go. A little strike rafter in there. Just need to take that galleon down. Station reports enemy when we contact. do that, we win this conflict. And you can take his mule ass out of here. Alright, that should be it. Come on. Spaceport lost to enemy action. Disengage. That's fine. That's fine. We just need to find him. Figure out where he went and then take him down a notch. Fleet action underway. There you are. Give me Skywatch that throne. Give me that form. throne. Taking evasive action. And a pulsar just oh, jumped away again. This is just a case of whack the weasel in the most Science annoying possible way. Success. This should be it. Come on. Come on, die. Science division report success. Get stuck. Don't jump out now. Don't do it. The death of the Great Khan. And we got his throne. Excellent. One of the better um, relics in the game. Which will allow us to reduce influence cost. And we get the Satrapy Subject. Plus we can get Drums of War. Which increases our ship damage by a rather significant amount. Which is awesome. And also means that these guys are now completely crippled. And we should be able to take back a fair chunk of territory fairly soon. But uh, they won't be able to do anything, which is awesome. We'll, uh, yeah, good fight. Now we can actually fight and focus on what's important. Uh, the other war that we've been running this entire time. It's time. We're going to go and liberate Khazad Doom. We're going to drop 12,000 troops on this stupid ass planet All and see how bad it's going to go. On so 16,000 we're up against, Inbound but it can traffic. only one shot stuff. So they can only attack one army at a time. And my army will attack back in return. So there will be reserves. There always are reserves in this case. And uh, yeah, uh, it can do a lot of damage, but so can we. So far, so good. We've only used about 2,000. It's already a quarter way there. Turns out we may have been able to do this a lot earlier. He's, lo he's losing combat power faster than we are. This is like a single guardsman fighting, finally the monster. Just queuing up in a row and shooting at it. My god, we are going to make it. We've managed to take the planet. Nobody lived, thanks, sadly. But we managed to take it. And that's what's important. Casa Doom is once again ours. Uh, there's still the crystal bane down here. Construction complete. I'm not entirely sure what's going on. Did we not manage to kill it? Or did just the devastation annihilate the... The population on the planet because that would have been like super bad if that's the case 
Reports the new brain Turns out this plant's completely useless and bugged out. The crystalline being did not disappear. I did not get the crystalline corpse, as far as I can see. Yeah, Science it's not there. Report success. So, uh, so much for that, I guess. Uh, it's a real shame, because I could have used uh, the crystalline uh, system quite, quite badly. Finally, the global pacifier. So, I got the uh, Colossus project, and... We'll need to build, obviously, a colossal shipyard on our stuff, but we at least have the Colossus, which is basically our final objective for the game. We're going to need to bubble as many purifiers as we can, starting with these guys over here, because they are definitely without sin. She's ready. Time to bubble some meanies. Tracking. You know, I've noticed that... Um, Bowling the enemy, uh, specifically these guys down here, has significantly increased performance of the game. And uh, everything is going just nicely because, well, let's put it this way, I've put about 300 pops in a indistinguishable uh, bubble Science that they will never be able success. to get out of. Specifically, yeah, they got two over here, there were 60 over there. They're all getting um, uh, their stuff kicked in quite, quite hard, actually. Science um, Division because report success. of that, as I mentioned, less pops are being registered less math has to be done game runs faster everybody wins ah victory yes of course the first uh, purifiers are done for we've bubbled every single world that we could of course as it all should be uh, there's a couple of planets still sitting around and then for some reason they've turned the tomb worlds i would not know why exactly but anyway they're all just hanging out inside of their little bubbles and there is nothing that they can happen to them sir still though it's 2377 what's the worst that could happen right i completely forgot that we had access to l gates so now it's time to make the l gates somebody else's problem because that's clearly the best fun that we can have at this moment in time because for some reason nobody likes us um bubbling planets they don't think that's very cash money for some bizarre reason, and uh, they've closed their borders to us, which means that I'm going to need to open up another network. And also, my pops don't have places to uh, go into, therefore, into the elk cluster we go. What's the worst complete. that could happen? Look, I knew it was going to happen sooner rather than later, but apparently the, um, the Great Tempest is about to escape. Now, let's take a look. What do they want? Oh, okay. Uh, apparently, they want to murder us all. That's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. Thankfully, I have a fairly large fleet on standby here, which is exactly what I am going to need. Why did it spawn like this? Okay. Um, I, I guess we'll just... Travel through the L gate, I guess. Sure. Let's uh, immediately murderize all of this uh, great tempest over here. They do have a lot of firepower, but nothing that I shan't be able to handle uh, without, uh, you know, putting up a decent fight. They, they keep on cranking out more and more firepower, which uh, not great. But it doesn't matter. We're just gonna go ahead and survey all of these systems and hopefully. I can actually take him down without losing everything that I have, because that would be super unfortunate. Come on. It shouldn't be this hard. Come on, I got a ton of battleships. How are you guys not... There you go, thank you. So there should just be a couple more. There he is. But that's 200,000 fleet power that is being annihilated there on both sides because they're taking both my ships and their ships down. And mind you, this is 180 years into the game. I should be wiping the floor with these guys at this moment in time. But for some reason, it's not happening. But look at all these nanite worlds that are over here. Ready to be turned into something a little bit more glorious. Yeah, I lost a lot of stuff there. Wow, okay. Doesn't matter. It's okay. I can rebuild my fleets. Oh god, it's like 40,000 in terms of cost. Uh, that is pricey. It's okay, it's okay. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. Why is this L gate closed? Is it because there's nobody Construction owning the system? Construction complete. What's going on here? Tracking spaceborne life form. Like I said, it'll be fine. It, it'll be fine. Let's survey this system. Let's get a construction ship in here. Tracking spaceborne Get everything up and running. 
and whatever this mess is. And of, like clockwork, I swear to god, like 10 years later the ghost signal kicks in. Because clearly the contingency is something that I need whilst the, uh, the, whilst the Great Tempest is running around as well. So that's fun. Uh, at least the Great Tempest will just start causing havoc in multiple Tracking places. So. Life form. That's fun and all, but you know, as long as it's not within my space, I am fine with that. Yes. Please rampage Science through all Division of these other empires, please. A new breakthrough. Yes. Yeah, don't mind me. Just just getting a couple of reinforcements for my fleets over here. Uh, nothing crazy to look at. Don't you worry. We're not just going to go ahead and kick in the door of the uh, Great Tempest and just taking him out by the root, root and with all these corvettes that are almost a thousand fleet power per unit. Don't you worry about it. It's complete. all good. All right, we got ourselves the arrival. Let's see where they will go. The... Contingency protocol is here. Mark my words, they're going to save in combat computers. Oh, of course, they are part of my systems because, of course, they are. Great. Um, is there any projects that we can do here? The contingency. Don't know. Worlds assimilated by the contingency. Fleet action it's underway. Fine. We need to kill the station here. Thank you very much. Come on. I, I need to kill the Great Tempest because you know. If we have the Great Tempest whilst at the same time also having to fight the uh, Contingency, we are going to be in a world of hurt. So we just need to make sure that we uh, keep tracking everything properly and make it... Oh, maybe there's the first machine world. New in the 21 right. system that is super far away, we've rolled some good dice there. That's Construction good. Construction complete. Alright, what else do we have? Anomaly on, found. Let's take down the system. Just need to take down the station. That's all we need to do. Kill the nanite factory, and we win. There we go. Tempest is gone. Nanite worlds can now be terraformed into standard planets. It's excellent. Excellent. Time to set the fleet home as fast as we can. And uh, reinforce as fast as we can as well. Because we're going to need to do quite a lot of work here in order to get all this stuff done. It's super dangerous out here and the contingency... Oh, there's a the second one. Where did it spawn? Good spawn. Good spawn. Nice and far away. Alright, the third world. New Where is this one? Uh, oof. That is way too close to Bubble Bubble for my... Uh, uh, for me, that's decidedly close to the Overcraft. Can't have that. We're going to need to do something about this one. Somehow they spawned right in the middle of where the con used to be. And here's the fourth one. Where is it? New sit rep. Birchville. Also far away. Okay, we only have one contingency system that we need to worry about, which is this one. All the others, screw the others. Agenda, They'll be right? fine. Okay, a couple hundred thousand fleet power should be more than enough to take down one contingency world at least. Plus, they're all following me, which is great. We're just going to go ahead and uh, jump into this next system and then be done with it. And the rest of the galaxy can deal with their own contingency-related issues because they are very much not my problem. Unless, of course, they get on towards my complete. doorstep. One, two, three, and off we go. Here's the contingency system. Priority target will, of course, Engaging be the station. station. As well as the fleet. There's a lot of firepower in the system already. And uh, we need to take him down. And then, of course, Sterilization Hub 003. I would say that's uh, an acceptable amount of firepower that we currently have. Uh, my ally is not doing too hot, but at least my battleships are just taking the line over here. And uh, the uh, Contingency Defense Fleet is dying rather rapidly, which is awesome. Corvette's not doing too hot, though. That's unfortunate. The system is ours. Time to commence orbital bombardment, as is tradition. Let's uh, get them on uh, indiscriminate bombardment. We need to kill them as soon as we can. Fleet action for, uh, underway. Before more spawn, he says, as they do. But again, for us, this is not a problem because uh, Tracking space we'll just continue life doing what we're doing. But we just need to bomb this planet into submission. What's this? Orbital bombardment from sterilization has sparked our council to discuss how she would respond in the hypothetical scenario of surrender. Sure, we'll allow their surrender. I doubt it's gonna happen, though. I think I found the reason why the Skywatch game is slowing down the way it is. Form. Because what is currently going on is not not exactly ap uh, not exactly normal. 
Are you ready? I have no idea what on earth is going on in this system. All I know is that a million cruiser-sized ships have decided to spawn in this place. And they are infinite. They they just they just keep spawning. I do not know why. There doesn't seem to be a reason for it. All I know is, is that they are slowing down my game like a madhouse. In the meantime, though, I have blown up uh, the, this machine world over here. So that's very good. And I'm sure that the galaxy at large is super happy with me to do that. But do I really care to continue doing this? Because this is not exactly bubbling the rest of, you know, uh, every single species. What I am going to do, I'm just going to root out these wildlings because they're being a pain in the ass. But in the meantime, though, um, contingency is just slowly expanding into my enemies' empire. Don't know what's going on with this mess over here, but that'll do. And, uh, I guess I'll just have to play Galactic Police and kill the Contingency and just be done with it. But first, Pest Control. Um, I don't know what's gonna happen here. Uh, we'll have to kill all of these, I guess. Maybe the- oh my god, there's so many of them. Uh, look away if you're, uh, please look away if you're the kind of person that will get flashy no flashy things. Oh god, if you got epilepsy, really don't look at the screen right now, because... I don't know what's going on, but, uh... I have no idea how this is even happening. Like, how are there... Oh my god, they're... My, my, my fleets are completely outclassed. Like, how does this even happen? Like... Am, am I outclassed? Am I out of touch? Are the, no, it must be the children that are wrong. What on earth is going on on this system? But what I do know is, is a lot of my ships are dying super quickly. And I have no idea what's going on on the opposite side. Like... How, mu how, much, how much firepower do I still have here? Let's just pause for a second, all right? All right, 30,000, 40,000, 60,000, 90,000. I had three 100,000 fleet power ships in here. And it looks like space flashlights are just absolutely wrecking them. I don't know why. I don't know how. All I know is that it's happening, and there is, seems to be nothing that I can do about it, for the moment at least. Because it seems that for every single one of them that I'm killing, at least two more spawn in. And it's not really increasing my performance either. This is so bizarre. Uh, I'm gonna need to retreat. There's just too Sky many of them. This is just utter insanity. We're just gonna go ahead and uh, set this system as uh, restricted. Nobody can go in here because it literally just annihilated all of my fleets. <laughs> so stupid. Yeah, they killed over 50,000 alloys worth of fleet power. Just by sitting in this system and being bizarre. Sure, why not? So I decided to go Guardians of the Galaxy, and now all of a sudden, because Inbound of the modifiers, traffic. please stop sending me embassy invitations for the love of God. Oh, please stop. Please don't. Look, I'm don't make traffic. me bubble your planets. Inbound I do have a Colossus traffic. on standby. Inbound don't make me do it. Oh, well, as we've decided to become galactic cops, uh, I tried to do something useful with it. Oh my god, there's another. There's the other sterilization. That'll be the second one we kill off. What I would like to highlight, though, is, is that even though it's almost 200 years into the game, um, enemy station. the Galactic Council is not a thing, therefore I cannot become custodian, therefore I cannot bring the Galactic Fleet into place, which is highly annoying. And uh, it makes sure that I cannot become Galactic Emperor. In the meantime, though, um, the taking point stance apparently does work again, which is nice. And uh, we will just raffle stomp these guys into submission. Whilst everybody else is just sending me Embassy invites, because, you know, uh, Embassy 001 um, 
approve or something along those lines. It doesn't matter all that much. We just need to take down all these remaining stations and then I guess we'll just bombard the planets a little bit more. Something like that. And then we can just add another tally of a sterilization hub to our thing. How many, how many ships did we lose there? Not as many as I thought. Lots of Corvettes, though. Not the end of the world. Way and that is the second one down. So, uh, yeah. Good, good thing that's all on its way. So, it means that we've got three more, not two, actually. Because, for those of you who are not aware, the way the contingency works, it spawns four initial worlds and then a fifth final world. Small problem, however. Uh, actually, not a small problem success. at all. Uh, because the entire galaxy is, in fact, a grid, everybody has built uh, hyper relays everywhere, which Skywatch means that getting around is actually lifeline. fairly easy. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing. We're just going to run around all over the place, uh, send my entire fleet from A to B super quickly, and then we're just going to terrorize the next um, contingency world. Because, yeah, we got at least two more to purge. And uh, this one is going to be the big one. There's a fair amount of fleet power there that we're going to need to crack. And uh, I'm currently doubling my fleet size, basically. So, gonna need to bring that with me first. Like, it's almost starting to become routine here. Like, I come into the system, you guys try to fight me back, you guys horribly rule or uh, lose, and I bombard your planet into smithereens. You know, that's kind of how uh, the flow of the thing goes, especially now that uh, all of your ships are just dying so incredibly quickly um they do have a small problem though and that's the fact that uh, there's about 400,000 enemy fleet power in this system um and i really hope i'm not gonna crack my teeth on these guys but so far it seems to be going just fine something to do with the 40 or so make that 60 or 70 or so battleships that are just roaming around kicking ass and taking names and there's really yeah, that's a that's a lot of battleships slamming tachyons into the enemy. All right, time to bombard another sterilization hub. The galaxy is on fire because, of course, the um, contingency is here. But let's take a look at what the galactic community is doing. Ah, yes, we're voting in regulated growth because clearly we don't have more important things to uh, vote for right now, such as I don't know. Um, forming the Galactic Council. Let me guess, as soon as I support it, it will just shoot all the way to the top. Not even. Apparently, Natural Defenders is considered to be more important than being able to properly protect the entire galaxy from utter annihilation. Construction. Quick update. Bombardment still happening. Apparently, in the entire galaxy has decided to join up for this party. We got a barbecue outside. Uh, every once in a while, and somebody throws a rock out of a window down to sterilization hop number four. Um, but there is about, a, I would say, two million fleet power here. And they're still streaming in. Like, it's a potluck. Um, like, these guys, I brought some sausages. Uh, these guys brought some... Uh, like a, uh, a tin of lettuce, you know, one of those lasagna trays with lettuce. I'm sure that's a joke that nobody gets. Um, but come on, Sterilization Hub, you're at like 31% damage. I'm sure this will go well. Inbound message travel. Jesus Christ. All right, that's the third one down. It's just the game is just running so slow with all of these ships all hanging out in one system and everything is trying to render at once. It's just taking forever. Which is just a massive pain in the ass, but um, it, I, I guess it'll do for now. I'm not entirely sure how we're going to get everything. I think we're, these guys want to bounce off of the L cluster and basically just yeah get in there. we got to kill only one Skywatch more, which is particularly lifeline. helpful. And then we need to kill the last one, which is sitting somewhere outside of the galaxy. But then we're done. Do I want you as a leader? No. Okay, this should be the last Engaging one before uh, the main contingency station spawns. And obviously they haven't managed to take over any part of the galaxy because the AI appears to be completely and utterly useless as soon as it starts spawning like half a million of those friggin' things from earlier. Anyway, what it means is that they, um, yeah, the, the other aliens won't spawn, which is fine. We're just going to need to bomb this thing into submission and then the last thing will spawn and that's it. Then we have won the game. That's how this works. Also, I know you cannot you cannot bubble the sterilization hubs. I've tried. I really wish you could. That would be so much fun. 
It's like, hey, somebody else's problem in a couple of million years now. Took long enough, but the heart of contingency has finally spawned on CX9881. Um, on the galactic periphery, apparently. Uh, here it is. Here is the uh, contingency core. Apparently, mass sterilization is on the table. Um, apparently, this is considered to be at the periphery of the galaxy. Uh, it's not even on the edge. So, what we're just going to go ahead and do, we're going to move the entire fleet over there. And they'll be there in like 100 days. And then we'll just jump in and just get rid of the, all of them. Slip and slide. Wait a minute. Is... What a way, what a way to finish it. What a way to finish it. The slip and slide empire from the line was here. Inbound message traffic. Let's kill the contingency car and be done with it. Because this place is inside of a nebula, we have no idea what to expect, which is fine. So I'll just jump in through slip and slide and see what's on the other side here. All right, let's pause the game quickly and take a gander okay so 50 50 132 50 50 yeah this should be just kill next zero one and then we win engaging enemy station i mean we're throwing like four million fleet power against this thing like if we're not going to survive now then something is seriously wrong science That's division it. report nope. success still need to bomb it all right G guess we're bombing next to zero zero one again just like all the other garbage planets we had to bomb at the submission. I do really like what they've done with the place, though, right? They can put some carpet up, you know, put some wallpapering on. You know, blonde. I can read... See, I don't even see the code anymore. All I see is, like, blondes, brunettes, redheads. Sure, that's a joke I haven't used before, but whatever. And it is done. Next zero zero one has been annihilated. The fleets can now go home, and all of that jazz. What a complete. delight! Do I actually get the relic for it? I did not get the relic for it. I don't know why I didn't get the relic. For it. Never mind. There's the mainframe core, isolated contingency core. What does it do? It uh, allows me to build another mega structure of every single type and available. mechanical pop assembly speed by plus one hundred, which by itself is pretty crazy. It's just a shame that, um, you know, the game is effectively done by this point. So the real question is, did we actually succeed on what we were out to do? Did we actually bubble every single purifier that we saw? Yes and no. We've managed to uh, purify one, uh, well, bubble one purifier completely. Uh, specifically, uh, this one over here. And we've got some uh, wonderful planets in bubbles. And it's going to take a couple million years for them to get out of those. But all the other purifiers were uh, jumped pretty darn hard by everybody around them. Which is a little bit unfortunate for us. Because it means that our wonderful bubble bubble um, didn't really have a lot of stuff to do aside from... You know, bubbling those planets. And my god, this is such a sexy design with this big ass circle over here. My god, it is such a Skywatch good job. Has sighted a space and of course, as soon as I became friends of the galaxy, everybody wanted to be with me. And uh, apparently, they didn't really care about uh, how many people I bubbled Science Division subsequently. Report success. Oh well, the galaxy is safe once more. We managed to control the L cluster with whatever is up in here. It is bizarre. But in the meantime, though, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to check out me trying to survive the line. Because the line is horrible. And uh, I'm sure that uh, if you enjoy some of the longer plays, you'll enjoy that video as well. Until next time, take good care of yourself. And as always, eat shutter and make sure to check out Prosper's Universe. It's, uh, it's a fun game that uh, should be supported.